What is up, YouTube? It's Mitch and iPhoneCaptain.com, and I've got a very, very awesome video today. I'm going to start adding a series here on the channel that deals with Cody on a regular basis for a number of reasons. Number one, because this is probably the single best way to watch TV today. If you aren't using Kodi, uh, I can assure you that you are losing out. And here's what I'm trying to show you, okay? On the left side of the screen is my iPhone 7 running Kodi, okay? I'll have a link in the description below how you can install that. And it is free. All of this is free. It costs no money. On the right side of the screen is Cody running on my iMac, okay? I wanted to show you how they look identical on every device. That, that, this is what makes it so awesome, guys, is you can learn how to use it on one device and do it on anything that you can install Cody on. And we're running Cody 17.1 today. And on the left side, the only difference between the left, the iPhone version, is I have gone ahead and installed what's called Indigo. This is a plug-in, call it what you want, a source, whatever. It's an add-on that you can add on Cody just with a couple taps. You just have to add uh, a, a source. I don't even think you have to do that now. I think they've gone ahead and made it so simple. That video is below too on how to install Indigo with just a couple clicks. Now, what I want to get to now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close out the iPhone uh, and, and focus primarily on showing you how to install Indigo and other things on the iMac because on the iMac version, I haven't done any kind of updates, very many yet. So let's go ahead and let me start that. I'm going to pause the video just for a moment, make some situa situate a few things here, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now we're inside Cody, and the first thing you want to make sure that you're doing, so yours looks like mine, is that you have the Confluence uh, theme installed or activated. Now, it's very easy to make sure that you are in the same category as me. Uh, all you have to do is go to the home screen here. Now, from here, you want to choose set, uh, system and go to settings. From here, you want to go to where it says interface. And right up here where it says skin, make sure you click on skin and you want to choose Confluence. Now, if Confluence is not there, just simply tap Get More, and it'll pull up a bunch of different ones, and you can look through these later if you want to try changing it to a different one. Uh, this A-E-O-N-N-O-X is a good one if you want to try it later, but right now we're worried about Confluence, okay? Now, once you have Confluence installed, simply go back out, go to the Home button down here, and now we want to choose File Manager. Now, from here, we're going to add a source. Go down to the bottom left side, click Add or tap Add Source, depending on if you're on an iOS device or on the computer, whatever it is you're doing. Simply tap Add Source. You may need to double-click if you do. Now, from here, we're going to add HTTP, and it must be exactly like you see it here, okay? There cannot be any difference whatsoever. Uh, Fusion.tv add-ons, make sure you have the S on there, dot A-G. Now, you need to remember how that you're installing or inputting these sources because this is an important part. Okay, so log this in your memory. Click Done. Now, down here at the bottom, you need to start it with a period. 
Now, if you notice on mine over here on the left side, I already have Fusion installed, and it's at the top of the list over on the left side. The reason it's at the top of the list is because I started it with a period. If I didn't put that period in there, then it would actually be down on the list, and it just makes it easier to get to when you need it. You'll see what we mean later on. So once you have that installed or entered, tap Done. Now, once you have all that in there, make sure, again, check at the top. Make sure you have your link entered correctly, and then tap Add, and then tap OK. Now, once you do that, it's going to go through a little process. Maybe it might take it just a moment uh, to actually install it or, or update or whatever. And then once you have that, then you're ready to go back another screen. Now go back to the regular home screen and go down here to where it says File Manager. Uh, well, you're probably still here. Uh, just hit the back key and go to File Manager. I'm sorry. Go to Settings and go to Add-ons and Install from Zip. And right here you need to choose Fusion, and from here, choose Begin Here, Indigo, and then give it just a few moments, and it will actually update in the, in the bottom right-hand corner down here. You'll start to see things actually occur, okay? So install from Zip, okay? I'm just sort of walking you through this again. Highlight that, and it'll it'll do its thing, and then click Install or OK there on the top on the right hand side, and it will actually start what it needs to do. Now, right here, after you see all the updates or whatever, and the reason you're probably not seeing that occur on my personal screen is because I already have it installed. There it is, Indigo Add-on installed. Okay, I was thinking there for a moment since I had already installed it that it wasn't here. So now, guys, this is going to make everything so, so simple, okay? Okay, now go back to your home screen. Just hit the little home button down there. Right here, go to add-ons. Now we're looking for Indigo, I-N-D-G-I-O. And you'll see it starting up there, and it'll go through the little thing and all that. Guys, this is a phenomenal tool and probably the best one-click add-on on, on uh, Cody itself, if you ask me. So just when you have time to fiddle around or whatever, you can come in here and you can actually back up all of your settings, any type of movies or anything you've installed, add-on installer right here. Uh, they actually have featured add-ons, and these are very, very good ones. Uh, right here is Exodus. We're actually going to install it right now. So just go ahead and click that. Let it do its thing. And once you get Exodus installed, do you wish to install the chosen add-on in its respective repository? Click Yes. Install. Uh, Exodus, uh, Phoenix, uh, Zen, Bob. I'm listing some of the best ones you need to actually make sure that you have installed, guys. Now, when you go back out and come back in, you're probably going to see that your, uh, um, your, your theme looks different. There's going to be things added on. Uh, everything is going to be better now for you. So go to Movies. Uh, actually, we'll go back out of here. Go to Home, Add-ons. Now, from here, see, everything is already listed. Now, if you are a sports fan, Sports Devil, Specto Fork, uh, all these are good ones. Here's Phoenix, you see. Let's go ahead and put Sp uh, Specto in here. Uh, latest movies. Let's check and see what's just recently been put on here. All right, there's uh, Sandy Wexler, Gifted is on here. So let's go ahead and see if we can open this up. Okay, I've clicked on it. It's going through some of the sources. Now, I'm going to have a video in the next day or so that shows you how to optimize 
and make this much, much faster than what you're seeing right now. Uh, I can actually make these, uh, I can actually uh, update Cody and make some, uh, some changes inside the settings to where these movies will basically just almost come up immediately, uh, if not immediately, just in just a few seconds, okay? Uh, what you have to do is go in and remove a few things, these sources, these bad sources that it gets hung up on. When you see those listed up there, it's sort of getting hung, go back in and remove them. I'll show you how to do that later. But anyway, right now you can see uh, it's still not doing what we wanted it to do. Uh, it's not it's not playing. It says that Spectral Fork is not available. Uh, I didn't see that, unfortunately. So if we go down here now, try a different movie. We'll try Chips. So right there you see Much Movies. It's getting hung on. Uh, we can actually remove that. And there's this autoplay that I really like. Um... That lets it go ahead and do its thing automatically. But you can see right there that it does work. And I'm going to turn that off because YouTube is being a mofo right now. I'm not taking no chances with that SOB. Uh, I'm not even going to, I'm going to try not to even use any kind of profanity or anything. They're getting so bad. But anyway, guys, this is just a brief look into Indigo, how you install it how you use it, just different things uh, you can you can do. I mean, it's just amazing what all you can do. Uh, we're going to dive much, much deeper. Hope this video was helpful. And as I showed you, you can use this on any device, any computer. Use it. I know you're going to enjoy it. You can stream it uh, over your Wi-Fi into your uh Amazon sticks. You can even install it on Amazon, the Fire Sticks, the, the Apple TVs. I'm going to show you how to do all that in the future. So if you want to see how to do all these things with Cody, free TV, free movies. You don't have to even go to the, all you need is popcorn and pop, and you're ready for the Friday, Saturday night movies right in your home. Hit that thumbs up. Share this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Uh, if you want to have any particular thing about Cody, Leave it in the comments. I'll try to be sure and hit it and keep coming back.